I had indicated in the morning the predicament we had in him appearing today. <coughs> However, I do not believe that his absence would prejudice the proceedings of taking plea. We can go ahead and take plea in respect to accused party. Okay. So, um, my court assistant, go ahead and... Account number one. The charge is conspiracy to default. Conference section 317, the penal code. In particular, sir, on or before the ninth day of December 2020, within the Republic of Kenya, jointly with the others not before court, conspired to defraud Mr. Ashok Rup Shisha and Itin Kumar Amritlal Raja, a person of land, known as land reference number 640111, measuring approximate area of 7.39 hectares. Situated along Lower Cabot Road, valued at 10 shillings, 1 billion, 350 million, the property of Ashok Rupshisha and Itin Kumar Amritlal Raja. Davis <coughs> Nadan Chalogo, true or not true? Not true. Not true. Count number two, the charge is possible detainer, control section 81, 20 and 12 December 2023, along Lower Cabot Road, within the Lobby City County. In the Republic of Kenya, being in possession of land, reference number 18485, <coughs> inland register, that's IR number 64011 stroke 1, of approximate area of 7.39 hectares, situated along Ashok, Rukisha, <coughs> and Itin Kumar, Amritlal Raja, without color or right, held possession of the same land in a manner likely to cause a breach of peace or, or reasonably apprehension of breach of peace against Ashok Rupshisha and Itin Kumar and Richard Raja who are entitled by the law to possession of the state land. Davis Nadan Chelogoy, true or not true? Not true. Count number three, 18485, inland register, IR number 64011, stroke one, approximate area of 7.39 hectares, <laughs> situated along Lower Cavity Road, valued at 10 shillings, 1 billion, 350 million. Fourth, a certain document, namely a letter of allotment, reference number 75707, dated 31st January 1995. For land reference number 18485, land register, IR number 64. 164011-1, purporting to be a genuine <coughs> valid letter of allotment issued by the Commissioner of Lands. <coughs> Davis Nadan Chelogoy, true or not true? Not true. Count number three, five, IR number 232908, bearing a fourth signature and stamp impression of Pauline Acheng Pesa to service number 80936. Detective Corporal Nicholas, Nicholas Ozuri, purporting them to be genuine and valid letter of allotment issued by the Commission of Lands and such issued by Pauline, by Pauline Acheng Pesa, a land registrar with the State Department of Lands and Fitnadan Chelogoy, true or not true? Count number six, obtained 21 at the State Department of Lands and Fiscal Planning 
within Nairobi City County in the Republic of Kenya, jointly and unlawfully with intent to defraud, procured registration of a parcel of land known as Mitch, area of 7.39 hectares, situated along Lower Kabete Road, valued at Kenya shillings, 1 billion 350 million, by falsely pretending that David Nathan Chalogoy is the lawful and the registered owner of the said land, reference number 18485, Elan register IR number 64011-1. David Nathan Chalogoy, true or not true? Not true. Those are the charges. Establish under the Criminal Procedure Code at Section 123 and under Article 49 of the Constitution, bond as a constitutional right is usually granted by the court. One of the party establishes number one, Your Honor, that uh, an accused person is not a flight risk and will diligently return to court. Number two, the court then will set terms of bond as commensurate to the charges that are before court. There are two points. Number one, Mr. Davis Nathan Cheruboy is a senior citizen of stability, integrity, and reputation, having served this country for over 35 years, in fact, 40 in service. <coughs> Previously served your honor as a district commissioner, in fact, started as a DO way back in 1980s. <coughs> served in different countries, served as a district commissioner in Bureti and Nakuru, and deputy PC in Nairobi. Before you retiring in 2020, your honor, was the coordinator of the wider Republic province, like an RCC, for, from the office of the president. Served as the PA to the head of public service for many years. You know, this is a man who has a track record and a man of repute, and who has sat in land boards, knows the systems, And Your Honor, just to briefly mention why these are charges that will be, this trial will go through a proper process. We will establish, Your Honor, that Mr. Chilugoy secured an allotment and a lease process in the normal manner. And they will demonstrate. Will just yes, I'll avoid, I'll avoid, avoid that yes, so that yes, uh, we don't get yes, to the merits yes. of the matter. Fiona, let me move to the, to the point that he, he bears uh, uh, no guilt in terms of what he set out. But, Your Honor, from the time the charges, the accused person was called to court, he has not been a good help. I have supplied, Your Honor, to show. <coughs> that the accused person is on a flight risk. A record, his health record, from Nairobi Hospital, where he has been attended to by Dr. Mwela Namasaka severally. And you know, the first time this matter was called to court, the accused person had traveled to Uganda on a visit without knowledge at the time that the case was cut. That you grant lenient <coughs> bond terms to the accused person. You would have paid for personal bond because they are senior citizen and has uh, rendered services to this country. But you know, because you have another charge, that uh, another charge against the first accused person who has been admitted to bail, The second accused person, sorry, who has been admitted to bail on terms set by the court, we appreciate the court's hands may be tied to grant the same terms because of the provisions of Article 27 of the Constitution. We will have no problem, Your Honor, because we understand that the hands of the court may be tied. But we plead, Your Honor, 
that this is an individual who will respect and attend the court. He's not a small boy, he's a man who understands the process of the courts. He served in administration and will attend court at his own, 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 own instance. You know, we'll be ready to abide by the, uh, the hearing terms that have been set by the court. And every time, there has been an excuse and a reason given as to why the accused person couldn't take plea. You know, even today, when the order was very clear that plea taking shall be on the 21st. <coughs> I think 22nd. The order said 21st of March. 2024, it was very clear, Your Honor. There was no show of good faith. Your Honor, the Constitution is very clear. Section, sorry, Article 49, Subsection 1H. It provides that yes, the accused person has the right to being granted um, cash bail or bond. However, if there are compelling reasons <coughs> for the same not to be granted, then it should not be granted. And John, I also refer to the bail and bond policy guidelines. Your Honor, and in the same guidelines, court should also take judicial notice of the conduct by the accused person in granting um, bail or bond. And also, Your Honor, the seriousness of the offenses before court. <coughs> Your Honor, should this honorable court be inclined to grant a uh, bail or bond? We pray that this honorable court only grant strict bond terms without the option of cash bill. And we also pray that the accused person deposits his passport with court. Maybe we should then be admitted to hospital. March 2024 in the yes. morning. Yes, sir. Um, I, I, really, I really don't want to get into what he no, should be. Just a minute, just a minute, Michelle, sure? yes, just a minute. I don't want to start getting into the nitty gritties of all these things. I will give a ruling on the 25th of March, 2024. Just a minute. And I know now the next question will be, where will he be put? Earlier on, there's a warrant of arrest. I've not mentioned anything about that. There was a warrant of arrest I've not mentioned. I'll say I'll give for bond and bail 25th of March. Should I also now execute where I should be taken? Thank you, Your Honor. No, no, Your Honor, normally when I, when I... If I say anything more than that, then I'll be going at... It's also not going, it's not also very easy for me as a court. But I will definitely give a ruling on the 25th of March about the bond and bail. As to where he is going to be taken, I will not want to delve into that. And why I don't want to mention that, because this case already is building a history. 
So I reached 2024. Are you With your kind permission? Yes. Perhaps I would say the Gallias. 9th of April. So we are done with him. He has a hearing date. You have the documents. Thank you very much. Yes, for this one, I give a ruling on the 25th of March and 2024 council, a senior council agenda, just as you had directed and also made your submissions, that I also, in favor of your client, yes, that I should also see that those are, that's accused one. Yes, accused that is, one. Accused one. A, yours is accused is one. Accused two. two. Yes. Yeah, and uh, what I, I gave as the bond, bond terms for accused two yes, yes. should also be considered. Yes, yes. Yes, and that is why, because you are in this matter, I don't want to delve in that but I will equally consider that. Yes, and uh, the, the, even when he took plea, I retreated and wrote a ruling. Yes. So my ruling will be pronounced on 25th of March, 2024. You, know, you have not... You, you should... The accused person should be taken. The court directs itself to what is before the court, which is an application for bond and bail. It is not an application where the accused, now he's an accused. Yes, yeah. And yeah. The, yeah, because he's now before the court and he has taken plea. Yeah, but the court does not take, um, does not further direct where an accused person who has taken bail. You know, counsel, you know what happens. Yeah, Let me not get into that because that is not an application before the court. Well, we know, okay, we, we know my situation. I, I was I was avoiding that yes. because we've just come from Nairobi Hospital and yes. you know what happened. Yes. I have seen the application that we had and I can yes. see now Nairobi Hospital was involved. Yes. It would only be fair enough that application on something which is not before the court. Okay. Yeah. Your, Your Honor, I think we clear when a first year takes clear and is not admitted to be there and then even as it awaits ruling, it's basic case, you should be in detention. You know, we should not get tired of you. No, no, no. And I think that is what will follow after this. That's clear, Your Honor. I think that's what you're avoiding, yeah. but it's clear. Yeah. After the court session, he will be. So that is the position, Your Honor. You know, we have, now that my friend is raising that, so it's a clear position. Maybe it's, you know, <coughs> maybe it's an issue that the court would have done. Let me just, let me just leave it at that. I, we will have too much back and forth. I don't want to get into jail. Yeah, like if if Nairobi Hospital, because this application reads Nairobi Hospital, they are the only people who would have come and told us they have on the bond and bail for the accused person. Thank you. Thank you. Next to the man. Come, come.